The coronavirus pandemic is forcing performing arts theaters everywhere to think outside the box. That's why one local theater is offering fans of all ages a way to stay engaged. CPS Force Lisa Petrillo has a look. The Broward Center for the Performing Arts calls this time their intermission, a time when audiences can't get together to enjoy the magical performances. But the curtain hasn't closed. Back in April, they launched Broward Center at Home, bringing free singing, acting, dancing, right to the home of families in South Florida and beyond. I was going through. A lot of the programming that we're offering virtually online right now are uh, opportunity to see a lot of our local artists and performers. Um, live streaming shows that we are actually uh, having, we're hosting them here um, at the Broward Center. So we're doing it in a very safe manner uh, where that local artist gets to come in and um, record their sessions with our crew uh, that gives them a great experience to be able to have it produced. And um, then we stream it back out through their channels and through our social channels uh, at BrowardCenter.org. They recently completed a virtual summer camp. What that did was it really gave us an opportunity to, to get ready to present all of our programming in our fall classes uh, here at the Broward Center uh, as well. And now it's almost time for registration for fall classes for their Education at Home series. And what we're going to have on August 29th is a, is a virtual open house that we'll host on Zoom. And that's a day that everybody really gets the chance to come in virtually and check out all of the opportunities that we have for kids, teens, and adults. There's really something for everybody to, um, to get engaged into the arts with and to learn from some of the great teachers and the staff. They're also producing live streamed intimate concerts. Recently, Christopher Jackson from Hamilton and the CBS drama Bull sang and chatted with the audience. And although much of their streaming content is free, the Broward Center, like everywhere else in the arts community, needs financial support as well, while they all pivot through this intermission. Let's tell everybody how they can really support the Broward Center at this time. So we're definitely on our road to recovery, right? And participating in things like our fall programs and our classes is, is definitely a way to help support us and keep us on our road to recovery. You can find out about all the virtual fall classes on Zoom on Saturday, August 29th. For more information, go to their website at BrowardCenter.org or our website, and we'll link you there at CBSMiami.com. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS4 News.